Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya iwan mursalin Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmain Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And salam sejahtera I give to all audience for Stazkirah session Organized by IHK Unit Kuliah Medicine at IUM Alhamdulillah, insyaAllah today I'll be sharing a short Tazkirah with a title, Sacrifice for the Sake of Allah. Within two weeks, all Muslim around the world will be celebrating one of the most important days in Islam, Idul Adha. And we know that one of the main themes that has been highlighted in this celebration is sacrifice. As a frontliner, or as a lecturer, medical students, mother, fathers, who, or whoever you are out there, all of us must have sacrificed a lot of things in our life to certain extent to perform our tasks, to achieve success that we want to achieve. Undeniably, sacrifice is one of the quality that is really important in Islam. For example, if you want to perform our five pillars of Islam, to recite Kalimah Shahadah, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna muhammad rasulullah It's not only should be recited by our mouth or verbally, but it should be shown from our act as well. And with all the challenge nowadays, with all the liberalism, humanism, it's actually not easy to fight for our akidah or for our belief as many people out there start to think that we can survive without God, without Allah. The second pillar of Islam, which is to perform solah. We also need to sacrifice, to wake up early in the morning to perform subuh prayers, to add with the, all the sunnah prayers. And sometimes we feel very tired at night, but we still need to perform isha. So the backbone of performing solah itself is actually to sacrifice your rest time, to sacrifice your sleep, to sacrifice your energy. The third pillar of Islam, which is fasting. Fasting also requires us to sacrifice our nafs. It prevents us from doing the things that we normally can do outside of the Ramadan month. And talking about zakat, it actually directly requires us to sacrifice our wealth, our income, to, to help the needy or the poor people. And last but not least, to perform hajj. Many young people who have been called to be performing their hajj need to leave their small children behind and the elderly need to be fit physically and need to leave our family, our wealth, our house, our cars and our job behind. All this actually needs sacrifice. So we can see that in order to be a good Muslim, we need to always enhance the sacrifice value within ourselves. The question is, yeah, it might be easy to sacrifice, we can sacrifice, but how can we want to make sure that our sacrifice is actually for the sake of Allah? Every day in our life, we sacrifice. As a lecturer, we do the question, we go to this, as a medical student, we go, we stay up at, late at night for the exam, we pay for the institution fees, P parents will be actually sacrifice our own self-importance for the sake of our children for teachers you sacrifice your time your energy your emotion to ensure the success of your students but how to make sure that our sacrifice is not something that just for nothing yeah, we need to make sure that all the sacrifice that we do is actually for the sake of Allah in class we need to be sincere in our sacrifice one of the, as I mentioned in the Quran, Israel Al Hajj, verses 37, it's not their flesh or flood that reach Allah, but it's their piety or their sincerity or their taqwa is actually the one that reach Allah. So every time we give, we do something, Allah doesn't need our love, our, Allah doesn't need our money, our energy, our time, but what He needs is that. But what we, but when we do sacrifice, we actually would like to show the evidence as a servant of Allah, as an obedience to perform the best in our responsibility, in our job, in our task, and to look after the amanah that has been given Allah to us. 
Hopefully, this short taskira will be a motivation to all of us to be patient, to keep on the struggle and the, uh, the effort to actually to give up. When we do sacrifice, we actually will lose it. Because as the proverb said, no pain, no gain. Yeah. When you when you do sacrifice to a certain extent, we're losing some of our money, we might lose some of our energy, our time, but belief. But we should have a strong belief that in Islam, all sacrifice will come in reward. If nobody actually recognize our sacrifice, even the HOD or even the colleagues or humans around us, don't forget that Allah will count every single sacrifice that we do, that we did, and if we're not rewarded in this dunya, we'll be rewarded in here after. So, keep on doing what we So, we need to correct our intention to do all the sacrifice that we do in this world is for the sake of Allah, not only for the monetary reward, the prizes, prizes and good words from other people. It will be motivate for us to keep doing the good things despite whatever uh, outcome that we get. And in conjunction to the coming of um, Ayyad Adha, one way to actually enhance or empower the sacrifice values in ourselves is actually to do the korban. So I really encourage, today is the payday for most of us. So why not we allocate some of our income to actually uh, buy a portion for the korban organized by the university. I also has its own program, uh, korban program and or other, any other NGO that we uh, would like to channel our uh, money to actually to manage our korban. So I hope that Last but not least, we pray to Allah to accept all the good deeds that we have done and to accept all the sacrifice and then for the sake of Him. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.